have these two long boards. These are like three and a half foot <clears throat> or three and three quarters foot. Um, and then have four of these side ones. They were gonna be legs and I decided to make the uh, part of it taller where the back's gonna be. So I used two of the legs to actually be as the end. So those are the same length and they're 20 inches. Um, might wanna do 18 or 19 next time, possibly. And then these are going to be the two front legs. And then the back ones will be like an extra foot taller or something like that. But this, this is the bench upside down really is what it is, so right now. Definitely use liquid nails. Support boards in the middle. 17 inch. Went around the bottom and done the same thing as up here. Support the legs a lot stronger. Went through, got the back done, put this up here as a top face board. This ain't on there yet. I'm gonna go through with the pickets. Pickets I got right there. I'll butt them all the way down flat right there and then this board will slide up against the pickets and kind of hold the back together and then they'll come up for here. That's where I'm at now. All right, now I got the back on. Uh, next thing will be to get the actual seat on. I'm gonna use two by four so it's really strong and then put some type of uh, armrests on each side got the seat on now just need to put on the the railings the sides whatever you want to call them something like right there uh done took liquid nails on the bench part filled in the holes and then i'll sand it down help cover up the holes and then i'll need to do quite a bit of sanding and then i'll stain it and uh should look pretty cool so now i went through and uh sanded it down Everything is nice and, and slick, but still have the cool uh, kind of rustic look with the, of the because I used the pickets. But everything's nice and smooth, and uh, I think it's time for stain now. Still got more staining to do, and the lighting isn't very good since it's getting dark. It's American walnut though; it's like a brown red color. Looks more brown than this, but I'll let this dry and then I'll go over for a second coat. Comes out and looks a lot better when you do that. So now I came out here and put the arms on here, which I had forgot to do before. <clears throat> Pretty simple though, after I figured out exactly how I want to do it. Just screw down to here, screw up to here, same way over there, and take this board and screw it down nice and solid. I mean, if I move this, it moves the whole bench, which is what I want. I went through and sanded. it. I'm going to go through and fill some of these holes up, make it look better. And then I'll do some more staining and it should be done. Getting her stained, my little gun just ran out of stain. Just got that little bit down there on the bottom back left and should be done. All right, now it's done. Turned out pretty decent, first time making it. <laughs> 